Hello, I'm Fred McNeil and you're watching QAC TV. Awful lot of residents from the county have been asking what in the world is going on in Centerville? One of our busiest areas, Route 304, and that's this look at what we're standing near. Behind me is the Centerville Plaza, Acme, and a lot of stores. To my left is Queen Anne's County High School, and all of a sudden, we look to the right, and there's a major construction project going on. Now, many of you know that's going to be the new county office building, and what we thought we'd do today is give you an update on what's going on so far and what will be going on in the future. And we'll be speaking with Todd Mon, the Director of Public Works for Queen Anne's County. Todd, thanks again for joining us on a beautiful spring day. Yep. Thanks, Fred. Well, we're here today in Centerville, right across from the Queen Anne's County High School, and a lot of folks have been asking what's going on here in town, and this is going to be the new county office building, and it's going to house the Department of Planning and Zoning up from Corsival Drive, our GIS department, our IT department. We're also doing a new studio for the QAC7 folks, for you very guys, good, here at this facility, and the uh, Queen Anne's County Board of Elections. And this is going to be a busy spot. Absolutely. And uh, then once the Board of Elections moves out here, the state's attorney is going to be reloca relocated as well. That's going to be make way for our new courthouse project, okay, which will come in a few years. But nevertheless, this is our first project, and we have about 18,000 square feet of new office building, a 5,000 square foot basement studio that's going to be set up here and a big warehouse for the election uh, equipment for the uh, for the county elections. And the good news is Todd we got a break in the weather because I know January, February, and March I didn't not a lot was going on but all of a sudden now every time I go to Acme yeah. boom we're, where are we right now? Well they've got the foundation walls poured for the the basement area They've uh, installed 36 of the 40 geothermal wells. We're going to use a uh, very environmentally friendly uh, heat system here. So that's underway. That'll be complete probably this week. We are about 100 days behind uh, construction, but uh, we do intend to make up some time here now with, uh, with the good with weather. The good weather. Yeah. Fingers are crossed, right, when we say that. That's right. Todd, what is the projected fingers crossed date that this building will be finished? At this point in time, we're shooting for a completion date of uh, February 14th, so okay. Valentine's Day, okay. so we can move the, move the agencies over here to the, to the new facility. Great. Mother Nature, did you hear that, please? <laughs> All right. Well, Todd, look, thank you very much for this update. Certainly, certainly. Now, one last question. Mm -hmm. If citizens have questions, Okay, they, as, you know, as they drive by, who should they contact uh, and you know, sure. help them out? Well, they can call um, our, my office, okay. the Department of Public Works. I'm Todd Mon, the director, and my phone number is 410-758-0920. Uh, and uh, my email address is tmon at qac.org. Okay. Todd, thank you for baking a couple moments. I have a very busy schedule. And like I said, fingers crossed, please, Mother Nature, help us out. All right? That's right. We'll, we'll be glad to give some updates periodically throughout the construction. We should see something coming up out of the ground here in the next uh, several weeks. Okay, great. Thanks a million. And, folks, do us a favor. If you'd like more updates like this, let us know. Contact us through our website. Contact us by telephone. Let us know what information you need. Remember, QAC TV is your TV. I'm Fred McNeil. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time.